Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. Today, we're ranking every Season of Boom player in Madden 25. Now, last night, EA tweeted out the last part of Season of Boom, or Part 3. This was not something I was expecting to come out on Monday. I thought Season of Boom Part 3 was going to be here on Thursday. But since we do have it, and I don't have a video this morning, let's rank every Season of Boom card we've seen so far. I also feel fairly confident that we can actually rate the new cards that aren't live in the game yet, because... Season of Boom players don't have any game-breaking abilities. The only thing that actually matters on these players is one, their stats, and two, their player builds. Now, without further ado, let's slide on over to the catalog where we can talk about the Season of Boom players. There's going to be 18 cards we actually talk about today. Out of the 18, I think there are like two or three cards that I wouldn't recommend you guys pick up. Other than that, though, all of these Season of Boom cards are really good. This isn't something we can usually say for a day one, week one promo when it comes to a new Madden. And at number 18, I got CJ Ham. Now, I don't hate this card whatsoever. The only issue is we have two free fullbacks, Mike Tolbert and Mike Allstott. We're also getting Kyle Juice checks with the AKA promo. I don't see a reason why you need to spend 180,000 coins on this 82 speed, 85 overall fullback. Now, obviously, this card is pretty good. But we already got two free fullbacks if you really want to use a fullback. I know a lot of people don't even use their fullback. I just don't recommend CJ Ham for your squad. And that's why I have him coming in at number 18. It's not that he's a bad card. And if you use a fullback, you like CJ Ham, you're probably having a really good time with this card. The only issue is... I don't see a reason to spend coins on him, so he has to come in at number 18. Yeah, somebody had to come in last, and unfortunately for CJ Ham, it was CJ Ham. Now, at 17, kind of lows because I really like Mike Evans' cards typically, but it is Mike Evans. This card is just getting a little bit outdated. I mean, it came out week one of Madden, 84 speed, 86 jump, 84 catch in traffic, 85 catch, 86 spec, 82 short, 81 medium, and 85 deep route running, 6 foot 5, 231 pounds. Now, you can make the argument he's better than Brandon you can sure he's 6'5 but this card is just a little bit outdated now if you use Mike Evans you're having a good time with him go for it obviously he's a little bit more of a value or budget card and I won't take that away from you but if we're talking about the best season of boom players he is coming in at the bottom half of this list. And I mean, I just said Brandon Ayuk's name, so let's go talk about him. The wide receivers in this promo are super weak for the most part. This card is, I think, a little bit better than Mike Evans. Maybe I think you probably could flip them and I wouldn't have any issues. I just think a six foot, 200 pound wide receiver Plays a little bit better than Mike Evans' old clunky self. 84 speed, 83 jump, 87 catch, 83 catch in traffic, 84 short, 84 medium, and only 78 deep route running. And like I said, the set piece wide receivers from this promo are not very good. And that's unfortunate because Brandon IU cards typically are pretty good. Same with Mike Evans, but unfortunately, both a little bit outdated. So those were the only three players that I was like, eh, I wouldn't recommend you guys pick them up. At number 15, though, Graham Glasgow. Only reason this card isn't higher up. I don't recommend spending 300,000 coins on a left guard this early on into Madden. Now, later down the season, later down the line, when we have abilities and offensive line abilities, I would, you know, probably have this really good left guard top 10. But right now, where we are in the Madden season, it is not worth picking up this card. Pretty much all offensive linemen play very similar. Graham Glasgow, though, 85 strength, 85 pass block, 85 run block, 6'6", 310 pounds. A very, very suitable left guard for your team. Also, 64 speed isn't the slowest guy out there. Again, though, I just don't want to spend a lot of coins on my offensive line yet. And, you know, somebody had to come in at number 15. Now, 14 could be a rather controversial one. It really just shows how deep the season of Boom promo really is. And this is where I have Josh Allen. Now, Josh Allen has probably torched you. He torched me last night. This card is really good. And that, like I said, this promo dropped a lot of really good cards. But as I was looking through the list and trying to figure out how can I bring Josh Allen up higher on this list, I really couldn't. If you guys use Josh Allen, I think he's a top four or five quarterback in the game. So don't stress it. I think this card is good. I just think the season of boom promo in general it's legit. Now, 80 speed, 87 throw power, 85 medium, 78 deep, 83 throw under pressure, 86 throw on the run, 85 pass accuracy, 6'5", 237 pounds. Josh Allen is a very, very good quarterback, but when it comes to where Josh Allen ranks within his position group and then other cards I got in front of him, it was really, like I said, difficult for me to raise him up this list, but I think this card is still an absolute stud. If you use Josh Allen, you're doing just fine for yourself. So coming in at 13, I got Taylor Morton now. You could make the argument that why is he higher than Graham Glasgow? I get it. 
I just value my offensive tackles a little bit more than my offensive guards. This is a 6'5", 325 pound right tackle, 85 awareness, 87 pass block, 85 run block. This card is going to be a monster for you now again. Like I said, I would not recommend picking up this card for the most part, but if you need a right tackle, you need a left tackle, Taylor Morton could probably play in left guard and right guard for you too. This card is going to be an absolute stud. He's an 86 overall. He's going to be costly today, but I think this card is really freaking good. I think number 12 is fitting. Oshi math is not real. That was number 13. And now onto the real number 12, where I got Cam Chancellor. Now when Cam dropped, he was probably one of the better cards we got with drop one. The only issue I really have on this card is he cannot play man coverage whatsoever. If you use him in the box, you put him in zone, perfect. But he is kind of one-dimensional, so that is why he's falling down this list a little bit. But like I've been saying, all these cards are really good. It doesn't really... I mean, it matters where I have them ranked, but like, you want to use Cam Chancellor, go for it. I think this card is really good. 85 speed, 84 excel, 82 tackle, 81 pursuit. Like I said, 71 man coverage, 83 zone, 87 hit power. Card is legit. Six foot three, 225 pounds. No abilities that I would like even consider using on these cards. Also, love the little glitch right here. How many extra pops and form tacklers can we put on Cam Chancellor? Way too many EA. And right in front of Cam Chancellor at number 11, I got Jalen Petrie from the Houston Texans. Now, for whatever reason, this card isn't in the catalog. I mean, it's classic EA at this point. 5'11", 198 pound, safety for the Texans. 85 speed, 86 excel, 85 agility, 85 change of direction, 80 awareness. This card is legit. The only thing he has significantly better than Cam Chancellor, look at these coverages. 81 man, 86 zone. He can play both types of defense. And, and, you know, in a game where defense is really hard to get in general, having a safety who can do both man and zone, I think is a necessity for having a god squatted. Well, Jalen Petrie coming at an 11. I think this card is legit. Yeah, so in typical Moshi Math fashion, forgot to write down two names who I think are both fringe top 10 guys. So I'm assuming you guys will see these clips inserted after Jalen Petrie. Quincy Williams, 84 speed, 82 excel, 82 tackle. Now... I personally use this card as my user, so I could potentially be a little bit biased towards him. I'm having a really good time with this card. 5'11", 225 pounds. He just makes plays for me, and like I said, I do use this card. I think he is a fringe top 10 guy. I don't think he's top 10 in the season of Boom promo, but I do think he is coming in right after Jalen Petrie. Right in front of Quincy Williams, like I said putting this clip in after because, you know, sometimes the brain just don't work. Jeffrey Simmons. Now, Jeffrey Simmons as a right end is not a top, a, not top, a fringe top 10 guy. As a defensive tackle, if you're picking up Jeffrey Simmons, use him as DT. He is a top 10 guy. 70 speed, 81 excel, 87 strength, 83 tackle, 87 block shit, 86 power move, 80 finesse move, 6 foot 4, 305 pounds. I think this card could probably fall in somewhere with a 10 to 8 range, but again, forgot to record it, tossing it in right here. Jeffrey Simmons, though, as a defensive tackle, beast. All right, fellas, time to start the top 10. At number 10, though, I got Richard Sherman. Also want to take a moment and be like, why is EA loving the Seattle Seahawks theme team this year? They actually did the same thing last year in the beginning. Just an absolute, just like, what are you doing, EA? But here we are, 85 speed, 87 excel, 84 agility, 87 jump, only 77 man coverage. You can make that argument where I was like, well, Cam Chancellor can't play man. Cam has 71, Sherman's got 77. There is a difference there. 86 zone, 77 press coverage. He's also six foot three, almost 200 pounds. So he's a bigger DB out there. I think Sherman is a top 10 card we've seen with the Season of Boom promo. Especially if you don't run any man coverage, Sherman is probably already on your team. I think this card is legit. Next up, we got a commander's legend, Bobby Wagner, who also isn't in the catalog. For whatever reason, EA just decides to remove and add cards to the catalog whenever they want. I think the catalog is one of the best things they've ever brought to this game. It just doesn't work like it's supposed to, pretty much like everything EA has ever done. Now, I could see also see the argument for Bobby Wagner to be higher up on this list. I mean, only 84 speed, but everything else on this card is really good as a user. Also, only 402,000 coins on Xbox. That's a 50,000 coin rental. He's an LTD that you can quick sell for 350,000 coins. For 50,000 coins, I really like this card. 88 tackle, 88 hit power, 87 block shed, 80 change of direction, 88 jump. Jumping does matter this year. 88 acceleration, like I said, 84 speed. 
Also, Commander's Legend, Bobby Wagner, a very fun middle linebacker for 50,000 coins as a rental. I'm here for it. And when I say it's really hard for me to rank these cards, I have Derrick Henry coming in up next. Derrick Henry is a very good running back. The only issue is getting a little bit outdated also for that price range of like 650,000 coins. I think you can do a little bit better. 84 speed, 82 excel, 85 carry, only 76 change of direction, but 87 truck, 87 break tackle, 6'3", 247 pounds. This card is a monster. Now, these Season of Boom cards don't have anything special. I don't know what Steamroller does, but looks pretty cool. Derrick Henry, though, is a card. Absolute monster. Next up, I got another one of the new cards coming today, Josh Uchi. I think this card has the potential to be the best linebacker we've seen from this promo. I have him ranked in front of Bobby Wagner right now, and that's because his stats just look significantly better. 88 Excel, 85 Block, should 87 Finesse Move, 85 Tackle, 85 Speed. Now, we don't see any of his coverage stats or his jumping, and that could potentially tank this card down a little bit, but as a pure edge rusher, 85 speed, 85 block shed, 87 finesse move, 6'3", 245 pounds. You're going to have a fun time with Josh on your field. Next up, though, I got Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey isn't the best week one LTD corner we got. I think Rasul Douglas is better than this card, but he is still a very good DB. I don't think he's worth 800,000 coins if you have Jalen Ramsey please sell off Jalen Ramsey. 85 speed, 85 excel, 86 man, 83 zone, 87 press. Card is good, but like I said, there is no way to justify that price he's currently selling for. If you have Jalen Ramsey on your team, please sell this card off. I believe that's every card we have in the catalog. Next up, 86 overall, Travis Etienne. This guy's legit. 86 excel, 86 agility, 87 speed, 86 change of direction. That is top tier speed in this game, tied as the fastest player with CJ2K. The only thing CJ2K has over Travis Etienne is that glowing X factor. Now, how much is Travis Etienne going to sell compared to CJ2K? That's a great question. I wonder if that will actually affect his price. But again, Etienne, 87 speed. This card is going to be a fun one tomorrow and maybe a good value pickup. I say this a lot, but value doesn't mean cheap. Next up, though, Trevon Diggs. I really wanted to put this card up higher, but 79-man coverage. Everything else on this card, top freaking tier. One, six foot two, so got some good size on him. 85 Excel, 84 Agility, 88 Jump. I've been sitting here glazing the jumping stat for a minute now. He's got 88, also 86 Zone Coverage, 86 Speed, 86 Press, yeah, He's not an LTD, Jalen Ramsey is. Fellas, sell Jalen Ramsey, pick up Trevon Diggs, and still have like 400,000 coins left on your account. It's the play today, I promise you. Now on to the top three, and I think the top three, there is an argument for, to be made for these cards to be put into a different order, but for me personally, this is how I'm going to do it. David Njoku, the best tight end in the game, 86 speed, 87 excel, decent route runnings, great catch, great catch in traffic, also after the catch. 86 ball carrier vision, 84 change of direction, a very fun, fun card, 6 foot 3, also don't expect him to be anything of a run blocker, I mean look at those reds down there, but as a wide receiver threat at the tight end position, this card's gonna be legit. And starting the top two, two of the 87 overalls in the promo, Dexter Lawrence, this card's gonna be the best defensive tackle in the game, 88 block shit, 87 tackle, 88 strength, 71 speed, 87 power move, 6 foot 4, 340 pounds. Now one thing I say about defensive tackles, the bigger, the wider, the better. Dexter Lawrence is almost 250 pounds. This card is going to be really good. DT1 for sure. And in my opinion, the second best season to boom player we've seen. And that leaves us with one more player left, DJ Moore. Now he is an 87 speed. Marvin Harrison is coming in today with 87 speed, who I do think is better. But DJ Moore is like easily the second best wide receiver in the game. I mean, look at these stats. Look how well rounded this card is. Six foot, 210 pounds. 85 catch in traffic, 86 catch, 86 deep route running, 88 jump, 85 medium, 86 short, 88 spec, and 86 speed. This card is gonna be really good today. Gonna be really expensive. I don't know how expensive he's gonna really be because of Marvin Harrison coming and the fact that Marv is objectively gonna be better. I think DJ Moore is gonna be a great pickup for a lot of people's teams. Bear theme teamers, Panther theme teamer. I know you guys are excited. Also, if you run a Panthers theme team, seek help. Ellis, that is everything we got today. Also, just wanted to quickly apologize about Quincy Williams and Jeffrey Simmons. I made this video super early. I'm sorry, that one's on me. Probably will happen again, but we'll try my hardest not to. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll catch you boys later today with AKAs 
and season of boom part three definitely a lot to look forward to but until that peace fellas